All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install a resource pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, because you don't have to get all of them from the Minecraft Marketplace, although a lot of them point you to the Marketplace if you're interested in them for Bedrock, because, I mean, it's reasonable. It takes time and effort to produce a really good texture pack, so I can understand how people would want to be paid for their time, but there's also some available for free out there that don't require you to buy them off of the market. And to get them, first, all you got to do is download them to your computer. To do this, all you got to do is Google Bedrock Resource Packs. I'm checking them out here on resourcepack.net. And I'm going to be grabbing John Smith's Legacy. And this is a pack that has a nice, realistic, yet kind of cartoonish feel to it. A little grungy around the edges. And you can download their version of the Bedrock Edition on their website. So if I click on this, it'll take me to their website, and you can download one of two versions. I downloaded just the regular Legacy uh, Bedrock Edition. And that should give you, if you've downloaded the correct file type, a MC pack file. For some reason, some of these other ones are giving zip files for their bedrock editions, and that's not what you want. You want an MC pack file that is a Minecraft pack that will automatically install into bedrock. Once you find the version you want, and you've got the MC pack file downloaded to your computer, all you have to do is find it and then double click it. And then that should automatically boot up Minecraft. So from here, if you want to use this pack to play the game, all you have to do is click on play, find whatever world you want to play it in. Like here's my super cool texture pack. I can edit this world and then down here you'll see resource packs and behavior packs. Resource packs are the ones that you have available in order to use. So right now I've got this one available or active, but the one that I want to use is the John Smith one. So I'm going to click it and activate it. Now it's active on this world along with the backup of the global basic resources. So now when I load in, I should see the John Smith legacy version. If you do this by creating a new world, it looks similar, but not 100% the same. You can do that by going to create new and then just making a brand new world from scratch. We'll just call this John Smith. And we'll just make this a creative world for my sanity. And then over here in the left hand sidebar, again, you see the resource packs. You can see the ones that I own are all listed here in my files, and I'm going to activate the John Smith one, which will now show up in my active list. From here, I can just exit. I can, well, I can either exit, but that'll take me back to the menu. I don't want to do that. So from here, I can then hit the create button, and this will automatically make my new save for my world. And then that will automatically start creating my new world using John Smith's texture pack as the core texture pack. And you can already see it loading in the background as I speak. So here you go. Now we're inside of Minecraft Bedrock using the John Smith texture pack. And it looks pretty cool. It's got kind of a roughness to it, but it's also very cartoony, which is exactly what I like and what I am going for. So yeah, that has been a brief look at how you manually install resource packs into Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.